Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video today, we are going to be touching on how to create, swap, and edit existing materials. Please keep in mind that we will not be going into depth of each individual material. We are only simply touching on the basis. We are going to be using Unity 2019, but this also applies to Unity 2018. Nothing I say in this video is any different. Our little guinea pig of an avatar today is Pandora by Yuri. I will link that in the description as always. Now, what are materials? Materials is what is applied to an avatar in Unity specifically to tell it what color, what design, what to be. It helps us with shadows. It is what matte caps and emissions are applied to. It is basically what gives an avatar life. Clicking on this dress, it is compromised of one material. Clicking on the garter, it has two. And as you can already see, the two separate materials is the metal and the garter itself. Materials are not to be confused with textures. Textures are an image that is applied to a material to tell it the design, the color, or whatever we need it to do. This is a texture that was specifically fitted for the dress of Pandora, and it is telling it, hey, this is the image we want on the dress here. Now, we also need to go over the main shaders that VR chat avatars use. For the most part, there is three shaders that are commonly used, but that does not disclude other shaders. This you are not limited to these shaders and there are very many, many more out there. The first shader is Poyomi. Poyomi is if not the main shader that all avatars use. There are two different versions of Poyomi. There is the main one, which is Poyomi Tune, that is the free version that is accessible to everyone out there. There is Poyomi Pro. This is the main shader that basically does anything. You can do metals, you can do shadows, emissions, you can add GIFs, anything you want, Poyomi can do it. The second shader is Arctune. Arctune is not available anymore, but it still commonly comes in avatar packages and you may or may not have already gotten it from a friend or again, a package. Arctune is best known for its ability to do metals, make metal shine, make it glossy or whatever you need it to do. That isn't to say Poyomi can't do that, but Arctune, that is what it perfected its art. There is also the crystal and glass shader. The crystal and glass shader, well, it's pretty self-explanatory. It makes crystal-like materials, it makes glass-like materials, and that is what it's good at. There are others again, but these are the three main ones. Now, touching on the main part of the video out of the wishy-washy, how in the world do I create a material? Well, we are going to find a folder in our avatar or our project that we want this material to be in. There may already be a material folder, but all avatars are different, so please put it in a place that you are going to remember it. Come down to your section, down here, right click, and at the very top it should say create. It is going to open up a submenu, which, scrolling down slightly, under audio mixer and above lens flare, it says material. We are going to click on that. Now we have our material, so let's name it test test for fun. This is going to be our test material. At the top right hand corner where it says shader standard is the shader we are going to apply to this specific material. Scrolling down, we are going to get yet another menu. There are very, very many shaders here, but again, as the ones I commented on previously, you have Poyomi, you have, well, I guess I didn't put the rest of the materials in here, but they will be in here, trust me. They'll be Arctune or whatever shader you applied. So for this one, obviously we're going to use the main one, Poyomi, Poyomi Tune, and bam, the shader has now been applied to our material. Looking at this, there are so many different options that I will get into in different videos, but for now, we are only going to touch on the main. What exactly is this? Well, the main texture is what I explained previously. It is the image that we are going to, if we want to, apply to a material to make it have a design, to make it mapped. Mind you that applying an image into the main texture may not always give you the result you want. 
textures are already specifically mapped and placed to fit a specific object most of the time. So dragging and dropping an image may not always yield the result that you want. Please be wary. This long, long strip right here, this white strip, that is what our color of our material is going to be. It is followed by an eyedropper, and the eyedropper tool allows us to pick and choose whatever color we click on. Opening this, we get a color wheel over here, and this is basically how we are going to choose the color of our material down here. Like, ooh, we can have whatever color we want. A hexadecimal is what is applied to every single specific color in the entire world that you can imagine. Basically, consider it a special ticket for that color. And the way you get that color is having that ticket. If you want a specific color, like, let's say I want this very specific shade of pink, on every single one, I don't want to get a different shade of pink. I want it to be the same shade. Well, I can copy and paste this hex decimal, go to the next material, color, copy, paste, bam. It is what the color is going to be. A normal map is what is done in Blender. Now, a normal, a normal map specifically is what makes the little divots, the little details. It gives it, it gives it texture, it gives it light, it gives it almost a feel. So at the bottom, bottom of the shoes, if we scroll very, very close, it's very small details, you can see all these little divots in the shoes. So if we're gonna find these shoes, hopefully we can scroll down and find them somewhere deep in here. Here are the shoes. We can instantly see a normal map. Some shaders may be unlocked or locked, small disclaimer, hit lock or unlock and bam here is our normal map on our normal map well they look a little funky but here you can see the small details this is the detail that makes up a shoe so if we scroll all the way back down to the shoe over here with the normal map we can play with the normal map here and as you can see the more intense the less intense it creates the little divots in the shoes the tiny little details now how do we apply the material we've made to our avatar? We've made our material and we are satisfied with the result, or we are making our material and we want to know what it looks like. What the heck does our material look like? Well, we're gonna go back to our material folder and there are two ways we can change the material. First, you are gonna take a look at your avatar and say, hmm, I wonder what I want to change. For the sake of this being very visible, we are going to do it on the dress. Now. Looking to our right hand side, this is going to be pulled up. This is what we're going to want to pull down. Additional settings, probes, lighting, right above that is material, right underneath root bone. Drop down that tab. Now for this specific avatar, or I should say dress, the dress is only made up of one material. Well, we want to change that specific one material. We're going to take our test material, test, test, and we're going to click it, hold, drag and drop to where it says dress bam the material is now changed we can edit it while it's on the avatar let's say you made a mistake and you don't want that material there it is simple as clicking ctrl z make sure you're holding ctrl while pressing z the second way we can do it is this little circle at the very very side of it you click that and it opens up a menu which is all of our materials here from here, there's a search bar at the top, which I can search up whatever material that I want. And we can just click and bam. Now, there is a third option and it is not the most commonly known, or maybe it is for me. This is the easiest way to do it, but we can drag and apply. Let me show you again. Click, grab the material and drag it exactly to the dress. We can do the skin, we can do any material that we can specifically get on the arm net, but that is also a third way. Again, for the sake of being accurate, I would suggest not dragging and dropping, but that's completely subjective and up to you, whatever makes your Unity experience smoother. Here, we have two materials. Looking down, accessory four. Accessory four. Well, accessory four is obviously the white one, so that is the garter. New material, because sometimes I get lazy, is the metal. It is as simple as that. Now, the last thing we need to touch on is how in the world do I edit ex existing material? Let's say the material that you want is already on there, but you just want to change the setting. You just want to edit the material that is already there. Well, it's as simple as scrolling all the way down 
to where the shaders are for that specific material. So let's go to the ears. Let's have some fun with the ears. We're going to scroll down and bam, all of our materials are here. These are all of our materials and we can drop them down. We can edit them straight from here. Another way how to edit the materials is not every avatar will have this, but they will have a material folder, which for most neatly organized avatars, here you see all of the materials right here. Sometimes these materials will be spread in every different place. Now let's say you really, really, really can't find a material. No matter how hard you look, it's just, it's so hard to find because some objects might be hidden. Super simple. Go all the way to the top of your assets and the very top underneath favorites, it says all materials. Bam, all of your materials are right here. Now, the last thing we need to talk about is the forsaken pink material. If your material shows up this color, it means that the shader has not been applied. Now, this could be for a number of reasons. You could have forgotten to put in the shader. You could have imported it in the wrong order. You used the wrong version of a specific shader. There are numerous reasons, but if you are sure you didn't make the mistakes that you know I previously stated and you did everything correct, you are going to have to manually apply the shader to the material. At the top right hand corner, it says hidden internal error shader. That means the shader did not correctly apply to that material. We are going to drop it down and here we have Arctoon and here we have Poyomi. Those are the two shaders that this material could be. Well, you should know if it's metal, most likely Arctoon, but of course if you get it wrong, you can always switch. For the sake of, I believe this is Poyomi, we're going to pull up Poyomi. I made the mistake, Arctoon. Let's do alpha cutout. Whatever the material may be, you can switch it to that. Of course, it could be any number of things, but this is a material that is provided by, you know, either Poyomi, Arctoon, whatever it may be, but it is still there. If your avatar is completely pink, and let's say you want to select multiple materials at the same time. Now, I don't have any more pink materials, so we're going to be using these gray materials. We don't want to go through 30 different materials and apply them individually. Hold down control, left click, left click, left click, left click. We have now selected all of these materials in which normally we could pop down the drop down menu, select Poyomi Tune. After a few seconds, it is going to apply all of those materials. I really hope this helped. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me and I hope this helps with whatever you may needed.